guys welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a review on all of the pack eyeshadows that I have I think this is their entire collection so I have 18 shades of the big eyeshadow pans and 10 shades of the small eyeshadow pans I could only fit seven in here I have three in another palette so I have a total of 28 shades to talk about and I think this is their entire eyeshadow collection I'm gonna leave the link to where you can buy them down below and I'm gonna review each shade for you I'm gonna swatch each shade I'm also gonna show you a demo on how I achieved this eye makeup look right here because I only used my pack eyeshadows and you can see how I achieved this eye makeup look right here it's really simple it's really easy and I used all of the pack eyeshadows so you can see how I achieved that so if you want to know how these fare and if you want to watch the demo please keep on watching so these eyeshadows come in a variety of different finishes. There are mattes and there are shimmers. I have to say the shimmers are almost foiled. The shimmery eyeshadows, um, the big shimmery eyeshadows, especially um, this shade and these shades, I'll talk about them, especially the shimmery shades. They are very, very comparable to the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. And I'm so highly impressed with these. The quality of these shadows is absolutely amazing. The small pants retail for about 250 rupees and the big pants retail for 350 rupees, which in my opinion is a steal considering how amazing these eyeshadows are. And especially the big ones, they only cost 350 rupees and they are so, so amazing. And the Makeup Geek eyeshadows are about 600 rupees. The foiled ones are, I think they are 750 rupees or something like that. So I have those and I'm going to compare them so you can see how amazing these are. I don't prime my eyes before I wear all sorts of eyeshadows because I don't have oily eyelids. So most eyeshadows tend to last decently on me. I don't have an oiliness issue. If you do, you can definitely prime your eyes before and they will definitely look a lot brighter and even better. I like to prime my eyes with concealer because that is the best way for me to prime my eyes since I don't have oily lids. I just like to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I set it with my face powder and that is how I prime my eyes for eyeshadow. And all my eyeshadows appear um, extremely pigmented so I am definitely happy with that. So if you want to prime your eyes you can definitely go ahead and prime your eyes and then you can apply these and they will look amazing. On me they lasted as long as I didn't wash my face so I think I wore these eyeshadows and I didn't wash my face for about 8 hours. So I wore these for 8 hours, I mean I wore my makeup for 8 hours and my eyeshadows still looked amazing. So yeah I didn't have a problem with fading or creasing if you have oily lids you can prime your eyes again but I didn't have a problem with fading or creasing or any of that and they are very very pigmented the matte shades especially the small pans the matte shades are so pigmented that you want to pick up your brush and you only just want to tap it into the product to get the pigment onto your eyes but if you kind of dab the brush onto the eyeshadow a lot of times you will get a really really extreme color payoff so I'm gonna start with the big pans and I'm gonna show you the swatches of each shade this is the first shade this is called shade number one and it's a beautiful golden frosty kind of shade I think this would look absolutely amazing on the eyebrow and in the inner corner this is a beautiful shimmery eyeshadow as you can see there is the swatch of that right there and that is a single swatch. I haven't swatched it twice or thrice. It is just a single swatch and it looks absolutely amazing. So that is shade number one. Then we have shade number two which looks like a yellow based gold. And all the shimmers in this collection are absolutely to die for. They are so pigmented. They are gorgeous. And again that is a single swipe. So you can see what it looks like. Here is the shade and here is the swatch. This is shade number two. Then I have shade number three, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous orange shade. So here is the swatch of shade number three. It's a beautiful orangey shade. Then we have shade number four. This is what that looks like. It actually broke and I fixed it with rubbing alcohol. That is why it looks messed up. And it's a beautiful blue shade. I personally don't wear such blue shades on my eyes. I like my blues to be more um, in the cobalt side but nonetheless it's a beautiful blue it will look really nice with ethnic wear with suits and saris and lehengas and that is what shade number four looks like and of course I'm swatching them without a primer this is shade number five and you have to be careful with them because they're pretty soft so if you drop them they are gonna break since they are so soft and so creamy and so pigmented you have to kind of make sure that you take care of them and this is shade number five 
it's a true rose gold shade it is so beautiful i think this is this is definitely one of my absolute favorite shades it's a beautiful bronzy rose gold and this is what the swatch of the shade number 5 looks like then we have shade number 6 it's a beautiful copper and oh my god so 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 beautiful you want to apply them with your fingers you don't want to apply them with a brush because they are so creamy brushes do not pick up extremely creamy eyeshadows that easily so you are better off applying them with a sponge tip applicator or with your fingers as you will see in my demo i like to apply them with my fingers because i feel like you get the most product and the most amount of pigmentation with your fingers so i just apply them with my fingers and again this is a beautiful rose gold copper shade and this is shade number 6 Then we have another one of my favorites. Oh my god, this shade is to die for. I am dying. This is the shade number 7. Here is the swatch of that. It's a beautiful beautiful plum shade. That is what that looks like. A burgundy shimmery foiled plum goodness. Please excuse my nails. Um I'm actually giving them a break from acrylics because they're very damaged. So that's why they're looking messed up and this is the swatch of shade number 7. Then we have shade number eight. This is what that looks like. And again, this broke, so I fixed it with rubbing alcohol, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I have to say, this is one of my favorites. So 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 beautiful. And what can I say? You can see how beautiful these are. This is shade number nine. I hope you can see that. I feel like it's a weird place to swatch, but this is what shade number nine looks like. It's again a beautiful purple shade. It's a true. dark purple definitely beautiful for a smoky eye now we have a matte shade this is the shade number 10 it is a gorgeous orangey red shade and this is the shade number 10 it's a matte shade shade number 11 is also matte and it's a bright fuchsia pink these colors look so fun and i'm so excited to play with them and create kind of unique looks for you guys and this is the shade number 11 Then we have shade number twelve, which is another one of those classic bronzy gold shades. Absolutely amazing, so beautiful for every day. It's definitely great for weddings and things as well. And this is the shade number twelve. This is a frosty shimmery eyeshadow. Shade number fourteen is a matte black shade, and I think this is the only shade in the entire collection that I am not extremely happy about. because this is not the blackest black ever i think the sleek palettes have um the black in the sleek palettes is a little bit more black than this one it's not as jet black as i would want it to be but it's still a nice decent black if you're scared of extremely jet blacks then this is the one for you because it is not as pigmented and as black this is the shade number 13 swatched horizontally this is what that looks like it's a beautiful peachy shade and a peachy coral a true coral shade i would say so springy then we have an amazing white gold this is the shade number 15 and here is the swatch of that i think this would look gorgeous as a face highlighter and also in the inner corner and in the brow bone all over the lid also it will look pretty great and definitely something that you can use as a face highlighter so if you're into that you can definitely use this and here is the swatch of that this is shade number 16 it is a matte burnt orange kind of shade with really small flecks of glitter i don't think the glitter transfers onto your eyelid the eye shadow is pretty much matte once it goes onto your eyelid but here is a swatch of that now for my favorite shade of the bunch this is what i have on my eyes right now this is the shade number 18 and this is what this looks like isn't this just absolutely stunning i think this is my favorite shadow from the entire collection this one and also the burgundy one i really really love both of them and this is very very similar to makeup geek grandstand let me actually swatch grandstand so you can see um how similar in pigmentation and payoff they are as well here is makeup geek grandstand and this is as you can see a little bit pinker in tone than the shade number 18 but you can see that the finish is pretty much pretty much identical i would say and this one is an eye shadow that costs 750 rupees and pack eye shadows cost 350 rupees the makeup geek pan has 1.8 grams of product and the pack pan has 2.5 grams of product so that's pretty neat and the small pans have um 2 grams of product so even smaller pans have more product 
than most mainstream eyeshadows. Then I have the last shade from the Big Pants and this is the shade number 17. Oh, I swatched 18 before I swatched 17. Anyway, um, this is what that looks like. It's a beautiful frosty pink shade. Definitely something that would look beautiful with Indian suits and lehengas and sarees and things. Now we're gonna move on to the small pans and there are 10 shades in the small pans and there are a lot of peaches and oranges and reds and corals so you'll see a lot of those and this is the shade number one. These eyeshadows are phenomenal, no kidding. You only have to tap your brush into them and they are one of the best matte formulas that I've ever used and only for 250 rupees. This is an absolutely unbelievable steal. So this is what shade number one looks like. Then I have shade number 2 which is a true purple shade as you can see, again a matte shade. Now we have shade number 3, it looks like a burnt orange kind of shade and this one is a little less pigmented than the first two. So this is what that one looks like, it's not as creamy as the first two actually. So this is shade number 3, look at that green goodness. This is shade number 4 and this is a matte eyeshadow. Shade number 5 is a very yellow based warm kind of pink, looks so pretty and I am just so excited, there are so many pinks and peaches and reds, I don't know which colour I want to apply first, that is what that looks like. This is shade number 6, it's a beautiful true peach shade, definitely great as a transition colour. Ooh, this one is super creamy. This one is shade number 7 and it's a really nice hot pink, very similar to shade number 11 from the Big Bands. This is shade number 8. It's a beautiful orangey red. That is what that looks like. This is shade number 9. It is a purple shade and this one is not as creamy as the other ones. But this is what that looks like. Definitely very pigmented and very beautiful to work with. So this is what that one looks like. And for the last shade, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favourites. This is the shade number 10 and it's a beautiful brick red warm brown kind of shade. This is what that looks like. It's very very creamy, very very pigmented, beautiful shade. Now I'm going to insert the demo where you can see how I apply these and how these work on the eyelids and how I achieve this makeup look. I'm starting with this shade on a MAC 217 and this is the shade number 6. It's a beautiful peachy coral kind of shade. I'm just going to pick it up on my brush, dust off the excess and put it in my crease right there. Be careful with this shade because it is very very pigmented. It's easy to look like you've been punched. So just be careful with it. It is much easier to add than to take off. So start with a small amount and build up as you go. That's what I'm doing because this is very very pigmented. I'm kind of just touching my brush into it. Now I'm taking a clean 224 and I'm just gonna buff everything and blend everything. Now I'm taking this shade. This is the shade number 3 and the one that I used previously was shade number 6. Um, this is the one I started with and this is shade number 3 and as you can see it's a beautiful brick kind of red shade and I'm picking it up on a pack 041 brush. So I'm just gonna pick it up on my brush, dust off most of the product and apply it into my crease. I'm also going to take it in the outer V right there. And blend with a clean MAC 224. Now I'm taking this purpley burgundy shade and this is the shade number 9. And I'm going to pick it up on a Cryolan Art 3511 brush. And I'm just going to take the smallest amount, dust off the excess and just tap it in the outer corner right there. I don't want a lot of this colour, I just want a hint of darkness. If you do want a lot more purple and if you want that colour to be extra pigmented, you can apply um, a heavier layer. Um, I just want a sheer kind of depth in the outer corner so I am so I am applying it really sparingly because I don't want to end up with a really harsh color 
um, it will look really really nice if you want a bold purple color but I just want a little bit of depth and definition so I'm just picking up a small amount and putting it in the crease as you can see they don't have a lot of fallout but if you do get a little bit of fallout you can just take a duo fiber brush and just buff everything away now I'm going to pick up the star of the show. This is the shade number 18 from one of their big eyeshadow pans. And it's almost like a foiled eyeshadow. So I'm just going to pick it up on my finger. You can see that is super pigmented. So now that I have this on my finger, I'm going to put it on my eyelid. And I feel like this kind of um, foiled eyeshadow is much better when you apply it with your fingers or with a sponge tip applicator. But I'm just going to use my finger. And you can see the intense color payoff. Go back to the red shade and my pack 041. Pick up a little bit of that color and mix these two colors over here so we don't see any harsh lines. And to blend the inner part of my eye, I'm picking up the Morphe M507. It's a really small blending brush. And I'm just going to blend the inner corner so it doesn't look harsh. For my lower lid, I am going to pick up the same shade, shade number 18 that I applied on my eyelid. And I am going to apply it in my bottom waterline, bottom lash line, with a sponge tip applicator. Now for the outer part of my lower lash line, I'm going to pick up the shade number 9. This purpley one that we used in the outer corner. And I'm picking it up on a Morphe M508 and just placing that over there. I'm also going to connect it to my upper eyelid. Taking this pack 106 pencil brush and the red shade that we used, the brick red kind of shade, I'm just taking a little bit of that shade and I am going to blend my lower lash line with that. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Pack Intense Auto Coal and this is actually a retractable eyeliner but it does not retract back. So once you retract it and you have the product, it won't go back inside. That is, I asked them why it doesn't go back inside because I thought this was a fault. But then they explained it to me and they said that if they leave air in the tube, I'm gonna call it, or in this part, the air kind of removes the creaminess so the kajal kind of loses its creaminess. That's why it only retracts upwards and there is no air inside it. So it made a lot of sense once they explained it to me and ever since that I have been using it and it's one of the best creamiest kajals ever. It's a little bit hard to apply when you have kind of an oily foiled eyeshadow but if you're applying it on a blank eyelid it's definitely going to be a lot creamier. my eyes and give myself a small wing. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. You can apply false lashes if you want but I didn't want to bother with false lashes today so I'm just gonna apply some mascara. This is 
is it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed this and found this helpful let me know which shades were your favorite in the comments down below and what you thought of this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up also all you have to do to be updated with all my future videos is click that subscribe button right there and you will be notified of all my future videos to come so you won't miss any more action on this channel you can also follow me on all my social media everything will be mentioned on the screen and also in the description box below and i am also going to leave the link to where you can buy these eyeshadows so yeah i'm going to see you very very soon in my next one bye bye